The guy doesn't concede elections. Did Hillary concede elections? Yeah, of course Hillary conceded. She, she said she he's an illegitimate president. When did she say that? She said that in 2016. She said he knows he is an illegitimate president. After the election. Yeah. Mm. Hello and welcome back all of you beautiful 153,000 subscribers. Someday I'll hit 154,000. <laughs> Someday. You may have noticed that Bill Maher's now doing this thing where one minute he's anti-woke and the next he sounds like he spent way too much time in the Democrat fever swamps. His recent interview on trigonometry is the latter with a clearly buzz Bill Maher proving my favorite Democrat meme true by badly arguing that Democrats don't deny election results because somehow it's different. And just the idea of a guy who doesn't concede elections, mm -hmm. yeah. okay? You guys should like stop worrying about all these other little that's it. That's the ball game. If the guy doesn't concede elections. Did Hillary concede elections? Yeah, of course Hillary conceded. She's, what do you mean? Of course. Of course Hillary conceded. She said she he's an illegitimate president. When did she say that? She said that in 2016. She said he knows he is an illegitimate president. I believe he knows he's an illegitimate president. He knows. He knows that there were a bunch of different reasons why the election turned out the way it did. Oh, that was different. Wait, how do you not know that? You're so worried about election denial, but you don't know that basic fact. How are you not gonna know that yet be so indignant right off the bat because they ask you about Hillary conceding? Which he only asked because all of the rest of us know that Hillary spent a lot of time denying the election results. Trigonometry showed one example there, but there are many, and I'll show them at just the right moment. After the election. Yeah. Mm. Russia collusion, what was that if not denying the election? They made up a story, which was a hoax. Well, it wasn't not, a hoax. Yeah, it was. What the actual f did you just say to me right now? It well, just true. what wasn't true? What part the of Russia it? The Russia collusion, the idea that- There the, was collusion the, with the, Russia. Uh, the idea There that was the, absolute collusion did, with Russia. Is that why he won the election, do you think? Partly. He's in, boys! He did it! He said it! <laughs> <laughs> what have I told you? They cannot help themselves. There's something going on in their brain where they're just incapable or don't have the self-awareness to see how absolutely, stunningly hypocritical they are. Because they always, always carve out an exception to separate their actions as different when they do it. He just got done ranting about how dangerous Trump is because he denies election results, but apparently knows nothing about the Democrat party's past election denial. Democrats started election denial. Democrats started violence in response to losing elections. Because they're gonna throw more flashbacks. The chaotic scene just blocks outside the secure area of the inauguration and parade route. I personally have anti-establishment slants, but I don't think that this is anything that I want to be a Bush's limo hit the gas to prevent an even larger riot. No president had ever witnessed such a thing on his inauguration day. Republicans have now done it for the first time and have escalated it. Some would say rightly. Just like Bill Maher is doing right here, carving himself out an exception to deny the 2016 election with disinformation. It was a very close election. Oh, that was different. It was a very close election. I, yeah, you don't think Russia could sway like what? Seventy-seven thousand votes in three states? Of course they could. No. And I, they did, Par partly through social media, partly for their propaganda there and what they were trying to do there, which was very successful. You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that's not why? You sure about that? That's why? Partly for their propaganda there and what they were trying to do there, which was very successful. <laughs> there was collusion. But the Democrats also denied the election in 2016. They did. I, okay, I mean, maybe one time Hillary said something like that. You can run the best campaign. You can even become the nominee. And you can have the election stolen from you. Trump knows he's an illegitimate president who got illegitimate foreign... Why do you think the president is going to such great lengths to essentially prove that he beat you? Because he knows he didn't. He knows he's an illegitimate president. Legitimate. There was a widespread understanding that this election was not on the level. Bush versus Gore. A court took away a presidency. As we look at our election system, I think it's fair to say that there are many legitimate questions 
about its accuracy, about its integrity. The one thing that Trump is fearful of uh, when it comes to his being president is that finally we will see how illegitimate his victory actually was. I mean, maybe one time Hillary said something like that. She does, you ask her today, this is not an issue for the Democrats. You're making a ridiculously false. <laughs> Right-wing extremists already have a plan to literally steal the next presidential election. Oh, that was different. Democrats are not the ones who deny elections. We have another. Look, I'm not gonna make you sit through it, but there's literally a video out there with 24 straight minutes of Democrats denying election results. Al Gore did it, took one for the fucking team Agreed. in 2000. Yeah, Agreed, yeah. Agreed. It's, it's just a ridiculous false con uh, comparison. Analogy. That was different. Wrong again, Bill. Wrong again. All right, folks, just another example of the Democrat mental condition known as IDWDDI. I hope you keep watching and checking back for more. See you on the next one.